Good afternoon and welcome to The Balance of Life. I am Pastor Angel Ferguson and I thank you so very much for joining us today on this December the 22nd, 2021. Truly, this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. It is always our honor and our pleasure to come and spend some time with you in the Word. And I just want to say I appreciate each and every one of you being a part of our ministry family, whether you have tuned in via one of the many platforms that we reach out to, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday of every week, or if you have subscribed to our television ministry networks via the Roku network, Fire TV network, Vimeo, or our YouTube channel. You are always in our prayers and forever in our thoughts. We appreciate every word of encouragement, the prayers that you have uh, made on our behalf, and we just thank you for our connection. Although Tuesdays are our days of intercessory prayer, you're always on our minds, just giving God all of the thanks and the praise for allowing us to share with you. Today, I want to talk about knowing and understanding your season. I have a, a, a clearer understanding as the days go by, as I am growing in my knowledge of Christ about seasons and what season that we are in. and. Our spiritual seasons are not based off of the calendar year. Our seasons are spiritual. We have the natural side, the calendar year. Summer, spring, autumn, and fall. We have those seasons. But then there are spiritual seasons. And I think it's so important that we ask Ask the Holy Spirit to reveal what season we are in. Sometimes we can pretty much figure it out, but it takes some slowing down in our lives to examine what we've been experiencing in a season. And so that's where I am. I am uh, studying and looking over the past couple of years of where I have been growing under spiritual maturity, the assignment that I've been on. You know, I came across a memory yesterday. I love social media. They, they give us these memories. And back in 2017 um, was a time where I was traveling back and forth to go to New Jersey. And I believe it was mm, 2015, 2016, where I was instructed, and I've shared this before, by my mother, Pastor Valerie Wilson, to study Jeremiah and to ask me why wouldn't I prophesy? I've shared it in a previous book and, and we're sharing a little bit more inside of that in our new release, Sounding the Alarm. And so I want to say around that time things in my life begin to shift and things begin to happen and I did not understand why those things were happening. And now we're in 2021 and I am just starting to really grasp and ask the Holy Spirit to really reveal. I believe he's already done so this season that I have been in. And so it's not that things happen periodically. It is the season I have been in. And about two weeks ago, I heard the Holy Spirit say, you're in a war zone. <laughs> you're in a war zone. Scripture tells us 
Scripture tells us that for we wrestle not against flesh and blood. And that is true. We wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against the rulers of the darkness of this world. That's over in Ephesians, the sixth chapter, Ephesians 6 and 12. As a matter of fact, it says, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. That is what we wrestle against. And so I was looking at a uh, compilation of things. I was looking at several things. And just the other day I was having a conversation with my parents as I'm here in Riverview, Florida, um, taking some vacation time. But we were talking, and I remember mentioning cycles, that whenever I'm mentoring someone, I encourage them to take a look at their cycles to find out, to trace back when the attack happen when they begin to experience a certain thing in their life, especially when they can only get to a certain point and then things happen and then, you know, they back up. But that hit me last night as I was sitting and I was thinking about that conversation and, and I said, you know what, I have been in a spiritual battle, spiritual warfare, since I submitted myself to go on this particular assignment that I'm on. I'm not saying that every day has been chaotic or I have faced a trial and tribulation every single day. But one thing about it is, as a woman of God, as a, as a prophet, as one who carries and operates in the mantle of the prophet, the office of a prophet, I thank the guidance of the Holy Spirit to lead me into scripture and prayer of spiritual warfare. Because I'm going to tell you that if it had not been for the Lord who was on my side, where would I be? If someone would have told me back in 2016, the things that I would face, I can't tell you that I would have submitted to the assignment. If someone would have told me the moment that I decided I was all in, but I would face this and face that, maybe I would have taken a little longer to go all in. What I'm saying, there is a cost to the assignments. There is a huge cost. But we have to know and understand the seasons that we are in. And whenever God finds a vessel that he can trust, that has submitted themselves as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto him, which is a reasonable service. We shared that scripture on yesterday. But I want to bring in now Ephesians. I want to bring that in because it is so important that as we learn our seasons that we are fully armored. We cannot go through the different seasons, our spiritual seasons, unless we are fully armored. 
I'm not talking about a, a natural armor. I'm talking about a spiritual armor. Yes, we will come across those seasons of being blessed. As a matter of fact, within every season, you should be reaping a harvest because you are forever planting. There are those times of a season when you seem to be walking all alone. That there is no one you can pick up the phone and call, but you only can get on your knees or lay in his presence, lay on your face in his presence and pray. There are those times where we are in a season that we are so hungry and so thirsty after the knowledge of Christ. It's like the more that we eat, the hungry that we receive. There is that season that we're constantly pouring out. And it seems that no one is pouring into us. And as I'm saying this to you now, I remember a conversation that I had with my uh, spiritual sister, Yolanda Lee George. She is the founder of You'll Overcome Ministries. I remember her telling me prior to me, uh, going back and forth to New Jersey, she would say, rest, sis. You need to rest. You need to rest because when you are released to go, you won't have the time to really rest. And boy, was that a very, very true prophetic word. It was good counsel because she was right. I remember one day, and it's been well over a year ago, I remember saying to my mother, Pastor Valerie Wilson, that I wasn't in a place where I'm being fed, you know, you go to a service, um, whatever the individual is ministering on, it is really confirmation for me. And so I'm like, oh boy, I'm always teaching, you know, I want to be in a place where I'm being fed. I want to sit back and I want to eat. <laughs> And her words to me were, for right now, you're the feeder. You're the one who is to pour and to feed. And so I say to you, understand your seasons. Know your seasons. Now, right now, I am on a, uh, a resting period. I am here in Riverview, Florida. For those of you who are tuning in to The Balance of Life, I'm Pastor Angel Ferguson. I thank you so very much for joining us. Today we're talking about just knowing your season and making sure that you have on the whole armor of God year-round. So, I'm here and... Uh, where I, I normally teach every Wednesday for Bible study at the ministry Faith Outreach Deliverance Church, Bridgeton, New Jersey, where I am the assistant pastor of Dr. Lillian C. Allen and the overseer is, is Apostle Roma D. Allen Sr. And so I need to be replenished in, in those areas because this has been one assignment I never would have imagined. But like I said earlier, I heard the Holy Spirit two weeks ago say you're in a war zone. And I have not let that go. And so I've been staying in the presence of the Lord and reading paying attention it's the assignment that has placed me in a war zone of spiritual warfare and so now I can fully understand more I can understand more 
the area of hunger and thirst I have after the word looking at the promises of God taking a look at the keys of promise taking a look at scriptures connected to spiritual warfare and, and praying in that area intercessory prayer the watchman the prophetic I'm understanding that more I'm understanding more and more the hunger and thirst after learning of the very foundation and principles of God like Ezra to learn the things of God so that I can share so that I can first apply it to myself and then share I'm learning I'm understanding it a little bit more day by day and I want to tell you that the more you grow under spiritual maturity the more you will begin to understand your walk and your relationship and so I want to say to you understand your season know what season that you are in and in every season put on the whole armor of God you're going to need it in the season of continual blessing it seems like every time you turn around you're being blessed you're being blessed financially uh, you're being blessed um, holistically in every area you're being blessed that is not the time to relax that is not the time to let your guard down that is not the time to just be in a place where you're not in the word that is the time to get further into the presence of the Lord that is the time to study his word allow the Holy Spirit to continue to lead and guide you that is that kind of season don't go lax don't stop reading your word don't stop seeking his face don't come off the wall thank him for the blessing rejoice evermore share of the testimonies of his grace and of his mercy but do not let your guard down during the time of blessing season the time of blessed season of release the breakthroughs are happening in your life I'm not talking about you ministering or sharing um, sharing a word for the breakthrough in others lives I'm talking about the breakthroughs the deliverance the doors being open uh, in your life the vision coming to pass the prayers being answered immediately when you're in that blessed season do not step back do not let go of your prayer life increase your prayer life as a matter of fact go further into the presence of the Lord rejoice interact with him because when we take our eyes off of the things of God to just bask in the blessings that we have received the enemy is staging an attack and he will catch you unaware when I take a look at Ephesians the sixth chapter verse 10 says finally my brethren be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil for we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities against powers against the rulers of the darkness of this world against spiritual wickedness in high places wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day and done and having done all to stand 
I want to read this again, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day. Being able to withstand in the evil day does not have a date stamped next to it. It is about the seasons. Understanding what season you are in. Sometimes we go through a season of trial and tribulation. It's what we do in those seasons that matters the most. Stand, as the Word of God says. It says, Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day. And having done all to stand, stand therefore, having your loins girt about with the truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked, and take the helmet of salvation, and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. Let me say this, right now, what is it? It is the season, it is known as the holiday season. It is a holiday season of merriment and uh, people are celebrating, uh, being around family, they're out shopping, uh, buying gifts, preparing for family gatherings and all kinds of things. And to be honest with you, it, prayer and the word is the last thing on their minds. This is when the enemy moves with strategic attack because our minds are not on it. Our minds are on shopping and finding the perfect gift and uh, and there is nothing wrong with celebrating one another's life. Let me make that plain and clear. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with family gatherings and, and, and making things pleasant to gather. But keep Christ first. Do not let your guard down with busyness. That you don't spend time in the presence of the Lord. That you don't acknowledge Him. That you don't get your time in of Scripture. That you don't um, seek His face and ask the Holy Spirit to lead and guide you into all truth and revelation. Don't neglect that. Don't allow anything to come before that. Because when we do, we give the enemy... A opportunity to devise wickedness against us so do something different if you have in the past neglected this time because you were busy and you haven't found yourself in the presence of the Lord if you uh, didn't go to Bible study because you were out shopping and listen Don't neglect to spend time in the presence of the Lord. Don't. If you have an app, while you're out, listen to the word on audio. Read your scriptures. Start your day with the Lord. Start your day with Him. End your day with Him. Interact with Him in midday but this is a season of distraction and so we don't need to be distracted in this season we need to adhere I thank you again for joining us here on the balance of life Christian talk radio I'm pastor Angel Ferguson 
Listen, I would love for you to become one of our covenant partners in prayer. There is no financial obligation for you to be one of our covenant partners in prayer. All you have to do is email us. Our email address is thebalanceoflife1 at yahoo.com. Becoming one of our covenant partners in prayer, once again, has no financial obligation. We lift each other up in prayer. We support one another. We also send out a monthly newsletter for covenant partners in prayer. If you have a ministry or a business, a blog in which you write for encouragement, if you are an author, if you have a, um, a broadcast, a podcast, uh, we want you to share that with us because we provide a, uh, a link to your podcast, to your ministry, to your website, to your business within the Covenant Partners in Prayer newsletter. Even if you do not have a ministry or a business, you can still become one of our Covenant Partners in Prayer. This network of visionaries, we pray for your vision. We want everything that is connected to you to flourish and grow, which is the will of God for your life. And so once again, we cordially invite you to be one of our covenant partners in prayer. Email us today at thebalanceoflife1 at yahoo.com. Also, you can have access to our life applications. Life Applications is an extension from Angel Ferguson Ministries College of Ministry and Mentoring. They are words of encouragement through scripture and in prayer that we send out every month. So you have access to two amazing tools. Within the Covenant Partners in Prayer, we are strategically looking at vision and how we can help you with tools to implement and grow your vision through the guidance of the Holy Spirit. And who knows, we might invite you to write an article for one of our covenant partners in prayer. Once again, the invitation is free. On our website, angelfergusonministries.com, our life applications are posted monthly. There are also Bible study tools that are free to you. Also, our curriculum, the courses, the length of time, along with pricing. If you are a author, new author, existing author, and you are looking to publish a book, listen, we do have a publishing division, wtiproductions.org. Take a look. And if you are looking for further details, contact us and we will be able to assist you. I'm so grateful for today. You have no idea how grateful I am. My mind, my spirit is saying, Angel, study the seasons. I encourage you, ask the Holy Spirit to reveal what season you are in. When we begin to understand the season that we are in, we can move better because we have an understanding of where we are I encourage you today put on the whole armor of God no matter what season that you are in get under the umbrella of God if you are a frequent listener of the balance of life you will often hear me quote the 91st division of Psalms he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God and Him will I trust. Get in the secret place of the Most High. Abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Take a look at that word. Also take a look at Ephesians, the sixth chapter talking about the whole armor of God beginning at the 10th verse and continue through through the end of that chapter this is where we need to be 
this is what we need to stand have a blessed day know that i love you without measure love you